Hello everybody and welcome back to the fourth episode of Hearts of Iron 4. In the last episode, or actually I think the one before the Second World War started, we've been invaded quite a bit, um, but we managed to push back everything. Uh, Germany just declared one the Soviet Union. They are still pushing, but it's, it's not going well. Um, I wouldn't say it's decided yet. A good thing for Germany is Finland isn't at war with the Soviet Union yet and maybe Finland ruined like maybe it gets in and this saves them but it's not looking good especially Romania is suffering uh, we'll, we'll see how it ends I'm not confident there uh, I've not joined the war against the Soviet Union for the simple reason that I don't want to be at war with them once everything comes crumbling down. I will get the anti boys anti-tank rifles right now because we don't have anti-tank on our troops. So I don't have a direct need for this right now. So I kind of want to go for the if day first and then that. I'm not sure. Tell me what to do, internet. Uh, let's just do this. Then it's over it. I can go for the artillery designer, I guess. Uh, let's go for you. I don't really have anyone here I need. As priority, I don't need because I don't have airplanes, I don't have armor, and I don't have special forces. And same for these, same for all three of these. And there's nothing here that I need. So I'm basically done with uh, political power. Well, Producing enough of everything. I'm okay. Let's just watch him. Japan's doing great, but it's probably pulled into the war with the Soviet Union. No, not yet. As long as it's not in the war with the Soviet Union, it's doing okay. Uh, I'm praying right now that it's beating China before it joins the war. Um, I don't know. I think it will join the war first and this will break its neck. But I'm really hoping it first beats China. That would be very important. Oh yeah, he's going war plan black. So he will just go down and join the war. So he just started this. This means four times seven. So it's 280 days minus this. So 250 days in approximately a year, a little bit less. So June, July, uh, or June of 42, he'll declare war on me. Now, the moment he declares war is a special moment. Because that's when all of his volunteer forces, or, um, yeah, it's his volunteers, come back. Uh, that's 20 units or so that are going back to his country. He will also probably be sending out some... Mm, yeah, I want that. We're being naval invaded. Yeah, he's going for this one. I'm gonna let it happen. I'll wait for him to land. Uh, I'm even considering having him... You, you do this, but don't attack him yet. Let him land more people. Um, yeah. Oh, and you need to stop training right now because these people, they do need some uh, organization. This means he'll get it back, but he'll also send out some. So for approximately 10 days, he probably won't have any troops. And we'll try to make, take some advantage of that. Come on, land more troops here. I know you want it. I know you want it. Uh, nothing I want. Oh, we can't go for this because we need if they, but we are doing that right now. But we could just wait for that. It's okay. Um, 
mom, mom, mom. This is kind of okay. I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I, I, it's very hard for me right now to say how our overall position is because I'll be honest. I've never fought this on veteran as Canada. I've never done that. Um, I think we'll be okay, but we'll see. Germany is losing. You can very much see this. They're being over. <laughs> oh wow! They've even lost troops to being overrun. That's. Because I can see from this place at least 20 German units here. Huh. At least they've beaten f Greece, but yeah, he Romania is about to capitulate and with Romania falling the entire south is going to fall. So yeah, war's lost for the Axis. And I, there's no way I'm sending um, a voluntary force, uh, not voluntary, uh, expeditionary forces, uh, because I will be fighting for my homeland in no time. And since, unfortunately, the US is in the Allies, and the Allies won't be having too much trouble in Europe, they will be sending um, reinforcements. Okay, he doesn't seem to be landing too many troops here, so let's just destroy him. I will actually have you do this and have a war plan to go here. Do this and uh, maybe with you. A war plan to go here. We'll just try to break through on all fronts and then we'll sweep with one big plan. Something like this. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not 100% certain if any of this will work. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I think there are worse ideas to be had. <laughs> this is also useless. Uh, oh, I can get both of them actually. Yeah, of course I can. I just didn't think about it. Let's get this one because it will help with my trade a bit. Because uh, it's all minimal problems, but it is someone. Maybe even someone will import it. Like if I was German, they'd probably import the things I'm producing because they o they're always starved for everything. Um, we'll just save this up. I want the extensive conscription definitely and then we'll see about the rest. Ooh, we can actually recruit more troops. Yeah, let, let's do this. Uh, <coughs> I, I think everything after that I want to recruit for uh, I want to save up for my troops, as in um, when they get shot. But for now, this is okay. Yeah, I'm I'm not going to be at war with the Soviet Union, because you're losing. And you're losing bad. This is not a bit. He completely abandoned this front. Look at this. Um, I, I, I know everyone always says, oh, this... Or better, the developer always says, the front abandonment, it's not that much of a problem. But look at this. This is the German front against the Soviet Union, and they have maybe 20 units here. That's all. <laughs> now Hungary joined? <laughs> this is so remarkable. Yeah, of course. Uh, wow. Just, just wow. I, I, I'm I'm speechless. <laughs> okay, now at least there's some resistance here. Maybe they even managed to get back Bucharest. Not that it would matter, but they've also joined. So let's let's be frank here. Uh, 
I mean, this is awesome. I've usually the AI does way worse in Italy than it did now. But I don't see this war turning. I mean, uh, wow, actually, the Soviet Union is completely out of resources. Look at that. If Germany wouldn't fuck up as bad as they are doing. Oh, God, look at that. They have no troops here. They have two, four, five, six, seven. Okay, 17 if you count those in the south here. But seven for this entire front. If Germany wouldn't... If its AI hadn't completely fucked up at this point, they could win this. Because the Soviet Union's out of production. Um, the problem is, even if I were to send volunteer forces now, the volunteer forces I don't have control over. Like, volunteer forces you have, but I would have to send them expeditionary forces because we're in a... Um, and our faction and expedition of forces he would get, so he'd also just send him down here or to Africa or whatnot. So no point there. Uh, very, very sad, actually. Um, I'm getting my last one here, which is awesome. I'm getting this one, which is nice. I'm all <laughs> you need to stop training and regain your... Just, Just like that. Oh wow, Germany has sent troops to my me. You've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> this is making me sad because... Uh, why? Uh, th this is the useless kind of losing the war, you know what I mean? The, the kind of... Okay, Turkey John, that's awesome. Uh, it's not going to turn this war around. Uh, absolutely not, but in theory it's nice that it did, I guess. How close are you? Um, you're at Embargo Japan. I think there's two more after it. Yeah. Oh wait, you went for another warplane. He's buying me time. I'm gonna get this. Um. Okay, he's buying time. Still, n not a whole lot. Uh, if you look at it. He'll go embargo Japan and the next will be Pearl Harbor Gambit if he goes down this way and this can lead to the war and it probably will. Um, and here exactly what I was afraid of happened. Um, he's been cut off. He's gonna lose all these troops and he's gonna lose the war. That's what I mean with the Japan AI, especially exactly this, always at this point is where they get cut off. It, it, this always, always happens. There's still a chance that they're gonna win this because they're coming pretty strong from the south. But I wouldn't bet money on it. Um. Yeah. Yeah, Germany's going to capitulate in no time and Romania capitulate because it moved all its troops away. Um, we're, we're gonna have to do this war without Germany, but then again, that is kind of what we expected would happen, right? So I'm not too mad about it. Uh, I'm, I'm mad over how it happened because Germany just moved away from the front even though it could have won at any time. Uh, that, that's annoying, but... Uh, or maybe not won, but it could definitely could have kept going. Um, is it you? No. Soviet Union is justifying against us. A war with Japan. Uh, yeah, but... I'm not, I don't care about the Soviet Union. Our goal is winning against the US. I'm actually... Considering pulling them into the war right now. Because I feel like I'm on a decent place if you uh, it sounds stupid and it probably is very stupid but uh, i feel uh, i feel pretty confident at this point uh yeah let's do that uh that the us isn't going to hold at least my first uh, we're gonna take washington I say like this, we'll get the achievement. I'm very certain about that. I'm not certain that we win. Because it's a big country, okay? And my units will get bogged down at some point. And when they do, um, it becomes a war of attrition. And I, I have neither the manpower nor the guns to win a war of attrition. So, yeah. But... 
it's a it's a incredible germany is taken and germany still hasn't moved troops to this front it's sad uh, the ai in this game is very sad um i think what i will do is i will declare war on the us i'll do it like this by the way not via this because it only takes me 10 days and 25 and if you go for this it's 70 days and 70 political power so i'm saving anyway i i don't know how this makes sense in anyone's head to take uh like especially f from the point of the developer like he put it in and he decided that this is this makes sense right this in the developer's head this made sense but okay please do this do this Come out here and no. Join him. Uh, once out, bam. All's good. I think this gives me electronics, which is okay. Um, here, I'm gonna save for that because I think I'll need it eventually. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna get that. War justification going. I'm going to train them so they're not the they're not green anymore. I'm not gonna go for regular. I kind of wanna, but I kind of can't because my war justification is going to run out, and I want the war to start now. So as soon as they're all regular, I'll stop this, I'll wait till they get it back and then... The problem is that he's now moving troops up to my front because he knows I have the wall. Thick. So I kind of made mistakes there, but it's okay. I'm actually gonna let this be enough. By the way, um, go for this and for this. Because otherwise they don't want the front to get bigger and the front will get bigger automatically. And they just don't attack empty provinces otherwise. Which is stupid. And now they do move into empty provinces. Um, I forgot to take call. No, I don't want to join. I, I want... Wait, is the US already in this war? Oh yeah, it did automatically merge, so my allies did join. That's nice. Um, it, it, it's not very... Oh, see now this is annoying. It, it, it's not bad because it's just gonna be one unit, but it's annoying. Um, I want my allies to be in just so the AI keeps naval invading. <laughs> And it will, it, it it will keep naval invading. Um, I actually go like this. We're, we're low on supply equipment. And do this, please. This is awesome. I'm getting so many factories right now from. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. I'm, I've I've already gotten so many factories from here that I can do that. Do move up. Go straight in. He even fled from there. That, that's the kind of naval invasion the eye does. It lands and then it gets the one troop there is out of there. That's... It keeps being remarkable. I'm... I keep being absolutely astonished. <laughs> um, now I need to redo this. This is starting to get problematic. I want one front line for everything and just shoop, add all and go and yeah, it's working. Yeah, because we're gonna start losing troops down here if we're not careful. Attack there, attack there. So yeah, this <laughs> this is interesting. We'll, we'll see how it ends. Uh, 
I'm a bit disappointed over here. I thought I, I, I thought my first attack would have more of a punch over here. Uh, I thought we'd really just break through and annihilate this. Um, it will still reach Washington. I'm I have no doubt about that. I'm no longer one hundred percent certain that we'll win the war, but we'll get all achievements. Do keep in mind that we already do have two of the achievements, so there is only the third achievement to get, which is Washington. But um, we'll try to completely win the war. Um, uh, do keep in mind that they have 300 units, uh, 250 ish maybe, and we have 60. And that they're producing with 150 military factories and 150 civilian. And we're producing now with 50. And only because about 25 we've just taken from them. So, things to keep in mind. Uh, and we, we are on veteran difficulty. So, yeah. We need to be careful that we're not getting... Why do I have these destroyers suddenly? Why do I suddenly have seven destroyers? <laughs> um. I don't know, I don't I don't care too much. Here we are starting to lose troops and le like I don't think I'm gonna get them out of here. That's the problem. But we'll we'll try our best. Uh, if not, it's not too bad. Again, over here we're mostly trying to hold our line. We're mostly trying to um, survive them. And on the right side is where the actual attack is going to take place. Uh, and this has this has stabilized a bit. Again, why are you? just waiting I don't I don't get it you're on the highest aggressive difficulty there's completely free land here please do take it uh, like that like that I know it's not the most important land but still land is land right sure one more research slow is never bad Let's get that going nope 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 to produce guns and artillery. Mm, let's go like this, like this, and we'll see afterwards. Yeah, we're gonna run out of convoys because the allies are going to keep shooting us down. Uh, like that. And we're not producing too many convoys. I mean, now it's getting better, but we, for the longest time, we haven't really been producing convoys. Um, just because the enemy has... I don't like... Uh, j just because we didn't have the iron. I don't like that Pearl Harbor was lost, because Pearl Harbor is necessary for the US to s <laughs> naval invade over here. So if I want the US to suicide its troops over there, it needs Pearl Harbor. Oh wow, the enemy has moved all its troops away from the east coast. So let's try to use that to our advantage. Um, it means that the west coast now is more problematic, but it's okay. Again, he's encircled troops here. I'm still trying to get them back in supply. And you good, so you need to move up a bit because you'll be out in number. Okay, Yugoslavia has capitulated. Yeah, Germany is about to capitulate. But yeah, Yugoslavia is out, which is nice, I guess. Do keep in mind, we don't need to take the Washington in a peace conference. We just need to hold it. So the moment our people set foot in it, Washington, uh, our people set foot in Washington, we've gotten the achievement. And now this part here is getting somewhat problematic. Um, be because the troops he moved out here, um, they're now arriving on the Eastern Front. So 
<laughs> I, I'm calling it the Eastern Front. Wow, and we are at 25 minutes, so how about I make a quick cut here? Uh, I know it's a 20 minute video, but it's good in 25, and I, I don't think you'll hate me for it. Um, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye bye.